Hi, welcome to How to Repair. In this video I'm going to show you how to repair a circuit board on a Zanussi tumble dryer with an ENV06 circuit board. This video can be used for AEG, Electrolux, Zanussi and many more of the Electrolux group appliances. These circuit boards are normally held to the facial panel with some screws and also some plastic clips. You need to be careful when removing them. Now I'm actually repairing a customer's tumble dryer here that has an E51 fault. I've checked the motor, the capacitor and all the motor components. They're all good. But the customer constantly gets the E51 fault coming up on the machine. And according to the workshop manuals, this is a triac failure, motor triac failure. This would normally mean having to buy a new circuit board, which is very expensive. It's well worth having a look around the board to see if any of the components have failed. Here we're looking at the capacitors. Now sometimes these can go domed head or split. We have a small transformer. Some resistors are around the board and also some diodes. Now on this circuit board I do know that the resistor on R76 has gone open circuit. It should be showing a resistance of 4,700 ohms, but we're only getting uh, open circuit. Now this is being taken out by the link switch, which is a common failure on this circuit board. There are many reasons why components fail on a circuit board, uh, usually due to an appliance motor or heater, uh, but on this occasion it is the link switch that actually fails. I don't have the exact reason why it fails, it's just a weak link on the circuit board. As I said, I did test the motor uh, on all the other items and there was no major component failure, but the link switch has actually uh, gone and this has taken out the resistor. So we're just desoldering the resistor. You'll notice that I'm using a little bit of solder to start the desolder process. I always find it's easier to uh, break the joints. And here we have the resistor. Now we'll just do a test for you here. And as you can see, we have no circuit at all. We should be getting a resistance of 4700 with a tolerance level of about 5% either side. So I'll just show you the new resistor compared to the old. And as you can see, near as damn it, 47 coming up on the meter. So we'll just replace this. While I'm doing this, do remember to visit the links above uh, to the full tutorial and for parts for your appliance. I'll also put some useful links for places to uh, purchase the components. And as I said earlier, circuit boards normally fail because a major component on the machine has failed in some way. So unless you know what you're doing, do not attempt to do this repair as you could usually do more damage than good. It's well worth taking the circuit board actually to somewhere like a TV engineer repair shop um, or someone who is very competent with circuit boards. Now this link switch that we're going to replace is very difficult. Um, I actually prefer to cut the terminals rather than trying to replace the link switch with a surface mount. I prefer to use a uh, through hole um, link switch rather than the surface mount because I can actually solder the terminals and cut the terminals to the right length before soldering. Now I'm no electronics expert, uh, but I've done quite a few of these over the years. And as you can see, this is a very, very small link switch. Um, the actual video doesn't do it justice to how small this is. It's well worth taking a look at the tutorial I've written at the website. Uh, it will give you an indication of what other components can fail on these circuit boards. Uh, they're not always repairable, but um, this E51 fault, uh, after doing about 30 to 40 of these over the years, it is a common fault on the circuit board. And also on some of the um, 
more upmarket machines where you have a digital display. Sometimes the digital display goes down and you get no life to the machine at all and it can be something very simple as a resistor. And for the sake of a few pennies it's worth having uh, it investigated. So we're just going to connect the circuit board back up to the appliance and then we'll do a test to make sure the machine is working and I'll show you how to clear down the memory so that it doesn't hold the error fault. So you just need to turn the machine on first and there we go, the actual machine's working as normal and what I'm going to do now is go into test sequence holding the two buttons down and now I'm going to turn it to position 10 where I will be able to hold the two buttons down again to clear the error fault. And as you can see it was flashing E54 this time but it was flashing E51 before but now we've cleared it down we'll just go back and check and there you go it's clear and you're ready to use. I hope you found this video tutorial helpful and if you did remember you can always click on the buy me a beer button above and you can buy all the parts at the website. Thanks very much indeed for watching this video.